person just personally going through that spiritual experience, feeling support from the team? Yeah, uh, there's four billion Muslims that are in the world. There's nine billion people in the world, so I think anybody can do the math <laughs> in terms of that. In terms of just, uh, you know, when you're feeling like you can't do it for that day, you just gotta remember that you have brothers and sisters around the world that are, uh, you know, going through that journey with God uh, with you. And it just is a lot of comfort. Uh, you know, some painful days where you, you think you're hungry or you you think you can't do it, right? Or you just wanna give up and it's just that, uh, that inner voice that just continues to speak to you. Just you can do it, you're not alone. You know, all those things attributed to the success, not just during the Ramadan, but uh, just as I put uh, my best foot forward within my life and, and just continuing to mature and giving glory to, to God all the time. Um, so this was my first game post Ramadan, but uh, you know, it was, it was really just another day in the office. Um, and that was it. Because uh, again, like I told you in the beginning of Ramadan, this is an individual journey, but it's also about the family. Uh, it's also about the spiritual aspect of it and growing. I don't want to dive too deep into it because some of the basketball world doesn't like to hear all this, but I do. So those that are listening, I wanted to share it with them that I love you and uh, I couldn't have done it without you. So Sham God, alongside a lot of my other brothers and sisters, we did together and uh, we came out stronger. Um, so it, and it was in honor of all oppressed people around the world. Um, you know, those that are dealing with being uh, innocent targets in the middle of wars. There's a lot going on. So for me, it was it was bigger uh, than just the game of basketball and playing well. It was just about continuing to stay on my team. This is a 